Hello, lords and ladies, my name is Forex Extraordinaire, and we have an exciting new set of traditions for the different cultures coming to CK3, the Royal Court. I believe these will be DLC only, at least some of these, though I think it depends on the hybrid cultures. I think there will be a some, there will be some cultures that come to the base game, but there's definitely going to be some unique cultural traditions that are coming to Royal Court, at least I think, maybe like Ting Meat. Um, but we'll have to see which ones are introduced in packs like Northern Lord that might be Ting Meat, and then some introduced possibly in future DLC expansions and packs, maybe some focus towards the Middle East since we haven't seen anything related to that. Though I want to get right into it because I almost forgot to record this, funnily enough. I woke up at like 11, and they released their uh, dev diaries at 8, and I've been just been so busy doing other stuff that I completely, completely forgot that I had a YouTube channel. So... Uh, my apologies for that, though this should get out at like 1, so let's just get right over it and I'll stop blabbering. Okay, so the first one, this is fairly generic. I guess this applies to most, um, it's kind of like a vanilla belief, kind of similar to the some of the Reformation tenets in um, CK2, Holy Fury. We have charitable, generous trait is more common, compassionate trait is more common, i.e. your heirs are like more likely to get these traits. And then you get an opinion bonus from sending gifts. Very good for bribing people if you want to um, perform certain actions on them. Again, like with your vassals. Um, probably better up if you're like a king or an emperor and you have a lot of people to manage. And then rulers of this culture have the send gift. Um, or they, the AI, I guess, just makes use of the send gift um, interaction a lot more. Also, um, all Malink characters, whatever that culture is, I, I think it might be Middle Eastern. They have uh, reduced monthly income by minus 3%, nothing really too big, and then plus 5 general opinion, so pretty good. We also have parochialism, and this seems to be another fairly generic um, holding, maybe more European-based since it is kind of focused on um, urban centers. So we have city buildings uh, with reduced construction cost, city holding construction cost reduced, and then we also have a pretty big Republic vassal opinion, minus 20, so I guess... This isn't necessarily for Republic, so you might really escape away um, getting the minus 20 Republic vassal opinion if you aren't playing like Italy or something like that, or like Venice or one of the other city states. And then um, city holdings give more taxes, development and lev levies, and then city holdings significantly lower control gain. So there's kind of a double edged sword there. If you do avoid the vassal opinion, you will still have to keep in mind that you do lower your control gain. So it's kind of just a contrast there. I guess it's more of a. Um, Yes, yeah, they're fiercely comp uh, competitive and independent, so you're going to have to kind of balance that out. Um, you're going to get more taxes development, but your control is going to suffer for that. You also have the Ting Meat. This is fairly self-explanatory. I kind of talked about it earlier. This comes from the Northern Lords pack, I believe. It just didn't have any official um, naming around it, as far as I know. And then this is the Scandinavian elective su succession law. And then you also, um, I'm pretty sure this is new, certain traits such as Brave, Gregarious, Generous, or Blade Master uh, give more popular opinion. Okay, we have tribal unity, and I think this is also a fairly generic trait. Characters with a family hierarch trait are seen as prestigious and will be able to raise more levies. Personal scheme success chance plus 30% against house members. And then gain prestige when granting titles to house members. Lose prestige when revoking titles from house members. So if you are like a new king and you need to give a ton of your titles and dukedoms out to fellow family members, this would be a great trait to adopt. Uh, as well as, as if you just started reforming your culture so you could add this to your roster. And you also have uh, redu a reduction to the opinion of your liege minus 5 again. Not really anything too big. And then house opinion plus 10. So fairly useful if you have a lot of your vassals also being the same kin as you. The last one is called, I actually laughed at this a little bit, Warriors of the Dry. I don't know if this is a translation error. I think the Swedish are fairly proficient at English. At least the guys are over at Paradox. So I don't know if this is like some kind of allusion to another third-party media or what. But Warriors of the Dry, um, I would think Warriors of the Desert would be a bit more appropriate. Warriors of the Dry just seems, I don't know if I'd use dry. Um, doesn't sound very intimidating. But uh, Desert Warrior Commander trait is more common. Commander traits and personality traits have extra dry terrain bonuses. And then you have a decision to recruit dry terrain commanders. You have a supply limit in desert, so basically you are just a lot more um, powerful. Increase supply limit, increase levy size, increase supply limit in drylands, and then levy size in drylands. So not just a, this is not just applied to the desert, which is maybe why they chose Warriors of the Dry. But I think Warriors of the Desert would still apply to like drylands, since it's basically fairly arid. Um, but if you're around Africa, this is going to be an amazing 
ability if you are around um, the Middle East. It's going to be great. Maybe even Persia to some extent with their dry mountains. But um, fairly interesting ability. I definitely won't be using this in Europe. But I still think it's going to be interesting to kind of experiment with. But if you guys have any suggestions for cultural tra traditions, or if you want to see a certain cultural tradition, or um, perhaps if you want to talk about cultural tra traditions, your modern day culture, or maybe medieval era culture, if your country had a medieval phase, uh, would have, please let me know. Um, I think the U.S. would probably be having some like independent, um, not definitely not charitable, maybe like bellicose and then something else, um, at least. <laughs> the modern U.S., though. I'll have to think about it. Anyhow, I like some of these traditions. A few of these are a bit more generic. Ting meat is definitely more unique to the Scandinavians. I think the most unique tradition we've had so far. Next to Warriors of the Dry, but still a very interesting dev diary. And if you guys, again, want to discuss it with me in the comments, feel free to go ahead. But I think uh, the Royal Court is shaping up to be a fairly big expansion. These definitely aren't all of the traditions that we are going to see. So um, just happy to see a little taste of the uh, traditions here. And uh, I hope to see you guys later next week. All right. Love you guys. Peace.